G'day. In this lesson we're going to learn how to copy an area of our Photoshop project that we've been working on. In this case, as you can see on the screen, I have a head. Um, if you're doing a character design, you might want your character to be a certain number of head heads high. So for example, you might want your character to be seven heads high. So that would be useful to be able to copy the head uh, so we can get seven heads. So let's show you how you can do that. Uh, we're going to begin by just selecting the lasso tool by pressing L on the keyboard. Go ahead and do that. Okay, so we have the lasso tool. I'm just going to go ahead and, and select the head here. Just roughly. Uh, now that the, the head is selected, we can see the marching ants around here. If I uh, move the, the mouse pointer over here and then I hold down, and I'm using a Mac, if I hold down the command and option key, we'll see the cursor changes. It, it now has a, a black arrow and a white arrow, and that means uh, if I click in here and drag it, that we can copy it. And there we go. Now, if you're uh, using a, a Windows PC, um, it's you're going to press Control and Alt, and then we'll do the same thing again, and just keep repeating that process until we've got our seven heads. All right, so we got six and one more. That's seven. Okay, so now I've got my seven heads copied. Um, now I'm going to give myself some reference lines, so I'm going to switch to the, the brush tool um, over here, or by just pressing B. And then in Photoshop, if you, if you hold down the shift key, you can do a straight line. So I've positioned my mouse cursor over the top of the, the very top of the, the first head. I'm going to hold down shift and then I can uh, draw a line. Oh, I need to deselect this one here, so I'm going to press uh, Command and D to deselect, and now we'll try that again. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and hold down Shift and draw a straight line across. All right. Now we'll go ahead and do the same at the bottom here, and there we go. By copying those heads several times, we now have reference lines. So if I design a character in between these two lines, I know that that character will be a total of uh, seven heads high and you may want to put in other reference points here as well based on on the different head heights as well and if you want to do that you will just add add more lines for example well thanks a lot and we'll see you next time